What's up guys, welcome to our episode of Tarkinus. Today I'm going to show you how to render a Roblox character. So the first step is, um, you're going to need this app. So you want to go to Chrome Web Store and search Roblox Asset Downloader. So you're going to get this one. I'll leave the links in the description. So you want to add that to Google Chrome. Then I'm going to go back to Roblox. You want to go to your profile. And then this, when you click on this, click on a studio icon. So download this. So once it's there, you want to click on that. And it will automatically open studio. So Okay, once you're here, you'll see your character. So you want to go workspace, click on, click on humanoid, click viewer, click none. So it won't sh show that. So once you do that, you can customize your character. And once you're finished, you just click on a character, right click on the name. And then you're going to click export selection. You can name it whatever you want. Um, I'll name it Tech Genius. I'm going to click, I'm going to save it on my desktop. Save. And once you save it, you can just X out. Okay, so it's going to be right here. Do not delete any of these. You're going to need all of these except this one, but still don't delete it. So once you do that, you want to open Cinema 4D. So once you open it, you want to click File, Merge. Um, let's see, Desktop. You want to click on the OBJ file. Open. You want to scale it to 100 centimeters. Okay. And there it is. So to move around in Cinema 40, it's these buttons up here. Move around, zoom in, zoom out, rotate. Okay, so once you do that, you want to click on the first one right here. You want to go down and click, double click on this. Then click these three dots. You want to take the texture click open no then you want to uncheck specular then you can X out of that then you want to go to this right here click editor click default and click no scaling so it will make it more clear so once you do that you um, you're gonna need another file and I'll leave the download link in the description. It's for the bones. So, documents, GFX, tools, bones. So you're gonna insert that. So once you insert that, you wanna move it. Well, wait, I'm missing stuff. Okay, don't move it yet. So first of all, you wanna Name the body parts, head, um, left arm, left leg, right arm, right leg, torso. And you want to name the hats hats. Okay, you're done. So once you're done with that, you want to. If you're on Mac, you hold down Command. If you're on PC, hold down Control. So I'm holding down Command. You want to click on these while well, click on these while holding Command. Then you want to click. Then you want to click U, S, U, S, U, S, 
U S four times. So if you still see a little, you want to click U S. Okay, so I did it four times. So now you want to move the bones. So you want to click lower body to move the whole bone skeleton. So I'm gonna move it down into the body. So you just want to line it up with the middle, move it down to the shoulders, head, and you want to go to the side, put it inside the body. Okay, so now what you want to do is bind them. So you can move them. So first you want to hold down command, right thigh, right leg, right foot, with right leg then you want to click character commands bind it's loading there we go okay now same thing for left bind and same thing for left shoulder left hand, left arm, bind, okay, right shoulder, right elbow, right hand, right arm, character, bind, okay, then for the hats, wait, what are we missing? We're missing torso. For, so for torso, you just want to select mid body, not upper body, so just mid body, torso, bind. Now for hats, you want to do each separately, so you want to select head, top of head, and first hat, bind. So head, top of head, hats for a second one. Bind. Okay, so that's all you you don't bind anything for head. So you just leave head. Now you want to get into the posi position you want the character to be in when you save it. So I want it to be on the side like that. There. Zoom out. Right there. Okay, so if you want to look at it, what it looks like, you want to. You're gonna click this button right here. You can click on that, and it'll show you the view of what it will look like. That's what it'll look like. Looks good. Okay, so now, if you want to bend the arms, that's what the bones are for. I want to click on this is the left side, so left shoulder. I want to click rotate right here. You can rotate it out. Rotate it out to there. Then I want to rotate the elbow. Rotate that right there. So now it'll look. you're putting your hand out there you go so that is how you render a Roblox character and now to save it all you want to do is click on settings if you want it to be transparent you want to go save then you want to click format PNG then you want to go down here and check alpha channel so once you do that X out of there and click this one to save. Click on that. Wait for it to render. And then X out and it should.
Uh, Alright, let's try again. This is a lot of render. Okay, I messed up. So, you do not click that. Okay, so once you configure your settings, you want to click on there. Then you want to go to File, Save As, PNG, and click OK. Then you want to name it whatever you want. Tech. So, Save. And it should be right there. So that's how you render a Roblox character, and see you guys next time.